We don't always get what we want. It's something that, you know, folks will say to you. And I think the secondhand embarrassment and the awkwardness of it is that we're watching the rejection. We're watching that play out. And for some reason, it's really hard for us to see people within the midst of something that doesn't go well, something that could be seen as a failure, you know, even though we always say to folks, you know, that failing is a part of life. It's a part of being successful. It's a part of the journey. It's like the only acceptable way to process and reflect on rejection is when you are giving an antidote or telling a story about it. It can't be in real time, you know, while others are watching. And I think that it's a lesson in a lot of things. I feel like, you know, for me, like what resonates around that is not only, you know, being in relationships that clearly don't work out, but also, you know, being an artist where you put your art, your creative projects, your practice, you know, you show people online and sometimes you get a response and sometimes you don't. And that also plays out even as a business owner, you know, sometimes your services get patrons. I think that it was hard for me to watch because I've experienced that, you know, where you are vulnerable, right? And sharing an aspect of yourself, a very intimate aspect of yourself, and it flops. It doesn't land, you know. Um, he's in a very interesting place as it relates to his queerness as well. He's saying that, you know, his mom is having a difficult time with him being gay and coming out and living his life, you know, the way that he wants to. I feel like, you know, he's in a place where it's like he doesn't have anything to lose, you know, he isn't close with one of the people that he really loves because of his life. And so he's like, I might as well just show it, you know, I might as well show the hard things. And yeah, it's hard to watch. But as someone who has been in very similar places at different points in my life, it resonates. It resonates so much. I do feel like there's a little bit of homophobia tied into some of the comments, especially the comments about Gerard's um, posture towards Tyler, the creator. Some folks were saying like, you know, that he looked pitiful, um, that he looked defeated while he was talking to Tyler, you know, and that he should have shown more confidence um, when he was talking to him and I feel like Gerard was really being fluid. I feel like he was showing masculinity in a different kind of way. I feel like, you know, he was showing his emotions. There had been some, some, a good amount of time that had lapsed between when he told Tyler that he had feelings for him and Tyler hadn't said anything. And then his response about going to the Emmys. So I, I think that there's something there about the way he was shown. Tyler is definitely emotionally immature. You know, people were saying things like, oh, he doesn't like black guys. You know, like this is his typical response and things like that. And he came across very emotionally immature to me. Um, you know, like this is supposed to be your friend. And even if he would have just said to him, you know, like, I don't know what to say to you. You're my friend. You know, I need some time to think about this as opposed to, you know, what Gerard said to his response was, you know, by like laughing at him. And I think he said he called him a stupid bitch or something, you know, like, what is that?